Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag and I haven't done one of these for ages so I thought I would do both my bags, my smaller one and my larger one and spread it over two days so I can actually show you what I'm carrying that day in my bag. So let's rewind to yesterday when I had my smaller bag on me and I really hope you enjoy it. Hi, it's Wednesday today and I thought I would show you what's inside my small handbag. So you guys have probably seen this before, it's my Rebecca Minkoff bag, I can't remember what it's called but I'll link it down below and I bought this for myself as a treat for my birthday last year and I absolutely love it, it's really durable like hard leather so I know it won't get ruined when I'm out and about in London and it has a long strap so I can just wear it on my shoulder and it's really easy and comfortable to wear. So let me show you what's inside, it has this little clasp that opens on the front and I thought that would be annoying but it's actually really easy to get used to. It opens with like a magnet and has this nice kind of blue leopard print inside. So there's a pocket on the front which I really like, this just opens again with a magnet and inside here I keep my Oyster card and I have a Whistles Oyster card holder. For those of you who don't know what an Oyster card is, it's basically what we use for the London Tube to pay for our fare. So this has black on one side and lilac on the other and I just keep my Oyster card in the middle there. So then inside the main part of the bag there are two sections, a front one and a back. I'm going to start with the back. And in here I've got my phone, which is the iPhone 5S, um, nothing much exciting there, but I've got a Kate Spade phone case. I love Kate Spade phone cases, I always find it so hard to pick one, but I got this one before Christmas. And it is quite Christmassy, but I've still got it on and I really like it. I've also got a hand sanitizer. This is the Soap and Glory Handmade which is my favourite one because it doesn't smell like alcohol, it smells really nice and like perfumed and I like to keep this on me because I go on the tube a lot and I like to just keep my hands clean in case I eat popcorn or something that I'm using my hands for. I also have my purse in the back and I have two main purses and I just swap between them, I have a big one and a small one and for when I have a small bag I use this and this is from Chanel, this is the only thing from Chanel I own and probably ever will and I got this as a graduation present for my parents when I finished uni and I got a first they were really proud of me and they bought me this and I was over the moon I was so happy I didn't expect to get a present or anything like that so I was really happy and I like the size of this it's just so good when I'm carrying small bags it has like two sections in it and you can actually fit quite a lot in this is a bit full at the moment full of receipts but I really like this, it's like lamb's leather I think and it's just really amazing quality. So in the front pocket is, I will tell you, let me have a look inside. First thing I have is By Terry Balm de Rose which is a lip balm and I'm really liking this at the moment because my lips are still really sore and this has like a nice pale pink sheen to it. Mm. I think it looks really nice on and it tastes nice and it feels good. So I like to carry that around with me. I also have another lip product, um, MAC Boy Bait Lip Balm, which is just the perfect nude lip gloss. Not a lip balm, it's a lip gloss. And I just carry this with me today in case I needed something a little bit fancier for my lips. But I have no lipstick on me because I just knew I wasn't going to wear lipstick today. I also like to carry a little mirror with me. But instead of having a compact mirror, which can sometimes be quite large, I have used one of my old Bobbi Brown concealers and I just cleaned it, up, cleaned it up after I finished it and it's got a little mirror in the lid and it's like the perfect size mirror for my handbag so I just keep that in my handbag. I think I have two so one for this handbag, one for a bigger one. I also have some chewing gum, extra, Wrigley's Extra, this is my favourite colour chewing gum, it's just the yummiest. And I also have a pen, I like to be that mummy type of person that always carries a pen because you never know when you're going to need one and I don't like having to ask people for pens. I also have a hairband because my hair stresses me out and I like to tie it up on the way home on the tube. And then I have this, which I forgot was in here. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and I think this is from Christmas maybe, or maybe Valentine's Day. And it's basically a little lips with red lipstick on that you can just kiss like that and it will transfer the colour onto your lips. So you can only use it once, I haven't used it yet. But just in case of emergency, if I need a red lipstick, this is always in my handbag. And I think that's everything. So that's everything in there. There's quite a lot of stuff for a small bag, but it is compact and that's why I like it. It forces me to not take the whole world out in my handbag during the day. So that's what's in my small handbag today and I'll see you tomorrow when I will probably have my big handbag with me. Okay, so it's Thursday today and I'm going to show you what I'm carrying in my handbag today. I'm about to go out and I have my big bag with me here. 
first of all, sorry about my lips. I don't know if you've noticed, but they've doubled in size. I've just had such a bad reaction. I don't know what is going on with my lips at the moment, but I look like a fish. Anyway, this is the bag I have with me today. It's from Topshop. Um, I've shown it before in a video. It's big and slouchy. It's faux leather. It just carries a lot and you can hold it like from the top handle. I really like it. Um, when I have big bags, I tend to kind of just throw a lot of stuff in and it had some stuff in it already, so I don't really know what's in here. Probably a lot of random stuff, but I'm just going to pull stuff out of the bag and show you. So the first thing I have is my portable phone charger. I try to keep this on me all the time unless I'm carrying a really small bag because my phone tends to just die and then I freak out that I have no phone on me um, just in case I need to call someone or I get lost. I don't know why I would get lost, but I always carry this on me. I also have my headphones today. Um, these are quite new actually. I got these from Amazon. They are Sony and I absolutely love them. They fold up so they're really compact and then they're sound cancelling so if you're on a plane or a train or if you're nervous about travelling they're really good because you just flick the switch and then you can't hear anything um, and it's really good if you're on like a night flight. I just look ridiculous now. They definitely don't look cool on me but they're really good quality and they were like £40 which I don't think is that bad. I have a random photo of my sister and nephew in there and... I guess to go along with that, I've got my Polaroid camera and I like to take this out with me sometimes because I'm trying to kind of take more photos this year and capture every moment so you never know. If I've got room then I'll just throw this in and it's a Fujifilm Instax Mini 8 and I got this just after Christmas and this was the only colour left but I quite like it even though it's getting a bit grubby. These are just really good, the photos come out like this, um, you can get wide ones as well but I really like this, I feel like it really like captures genuine emotions and you can't like you know when you take a photo of someone they say oh I don't like it retake it you can't do that so I really like these I also have my purse and as I said yesterday I've got a small purse for my small bag and a big purse for my big bag this one is from Miu Miu I got this three or four years ago when I had a Selfridges voucher and I wanted to get something quite special and add a bit of money to it so I got this it wasn't all scratched up when I got it but I knew that was going to happen because my friend has this purse um, and I quite like that it looks quite worn so it opens it's navy blue and it opens it's kind of salmony pink inside and then it's got loads of space for cards and stuff I love this purse so I feel like I'm going to use this forever I also have my sunglasses these are Ray-Ban Wayfarers um, which I just love and I think they kind of go with everything I've got my By Terry lip balm which I'm not going to use today because I just think my lips are so sore I need to go to like a dermatologist or something and get proper cream. I have perfume, this is Stella perfume and I don't wear this one all the time but I like to carry it in my handbag because it's just the perfect handbag size and I know it's not going to spill and it's really lightweight and I really like the cute packaging. If you haven't tried Stella perfume before you should, it's really nice. I've got a hair clip or when I was a teenager we used to call these Becky clips and let me know if you know what that means. I also have my Oyster card that you saw yesterday in my Whistles case. I've got my vlogging camera as well because I think I'm going to be vlogging today and the one I have is a Canon Ixus 230HS and I think Zoe, Zoella recommended this one to me like a year ago or something and so I went and got it and I'm really happy with it I really like it, no complaints um, it, had, it took me a while to get used to the autofocus but if I'm vlogging myself I just have to kind of hold it there press record and wait a second to make sure it focuses and then everything else is fine and it's just so small and compact I also have something I've torn out of Grazia magazine which is the 25% off whistles code just in case I find myself in whistles today when I'm in town I have um, some gloves, these are my cashmere gloves from Marks and Spencers that I got from my grandma for my birthday. I have a hand cream, this one's new actually so I've thrown it in so I can test it out. It's from Veleda and it's the Sea Buckthorn Hand Cream and I gave this a go yesterday and it's very zingy and orangey and zesty. I quite like it actually. Does it say what the scent is? I don't know. Is Sea Buckthorn a scent? I'm not really sure about that. I also have a Clinique nail file randomly, but it's kind of worn down, it doesn't really do anything. I think I might take that out. I have a hairband, and I have the nail polish that I'm wearing today. Um, I'm not really one to touch up if I get chips, but I obviously threw this in there this morning. It's from L'Oreal, I think it's new, it's the Colour Riche, and it's in Lemon Meringue. 
it looks kind of white with a yellowy off kind of tint. Um, I really like it actually. I have my phone and my Kate Spade phone case that you saw yesterday. I have my little Bobbi Brown mirror. This is the other one I was talking about that kind of lives in this bag. I've got a small travel size um, dry shampoo in case things get a little bit greasy. And I think that's everything. It's empty. Quite a lot of stuff. I told you my big bags tend to kind of carry my life in them, which is why I like to have a break and carry a small bag every now and again. But that's everything for my big bag and I need to rush out now and go into town. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what is in both of my bags. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did. And I'll see you all next week. Bye.